It's siding time. This is probably the biggest step in making this house have its final look. This siding is looking beautiful. We've just started. So a little bit about the siding. We are using a channel bevel lap siding. It is a composite material. This is made by True Exterior. We are not sponsored, unfortunately. That would have been nice because uh, this stuff does come at a price, but it is well worth it. And the reason is because not only does it look absolutely incredible, but it's composite, which means during the summer months when your house is heating up, I mean, it gets well over 100 degrees here, and in the winter months when your house is cooling down, uh, that's a good temperature swing. And what happens is when you have that, things expand and contract. It's not always a huge problem, but yeah, you do get some sort of separation when you have things like wood that tend to uh, expand and contract and absorb moisture and all that. This composite stuff does not expand and contract that much. Not much at all, actually. A little bit of details. It is a one by 10 material is what they're calling it, but it's actually about three quarters of an inch thick. And by the time you overlap it, as you see, it ends up spanning about nine inches. And these boards are 16 feet long. You lay down one board and you can actually make some good progress. We have a lot of siding to do. So if you've done construction, this probably isn't super new to you, but we have a laser line, laser level that gets us our reference line. So we use that stick with the receiver on it to set that line. And you can see on the screen, it tells you whether you need to go up or down. Basically, we set that line all the way around. Uh, we marked off a few points, and then we snapped a string line in order to mark a reference line that we're going to use to set the siding. Once we have that reference line in place, we set our first board, and then we can stack them up from there. As long as that first board is set right in place and the others are set right relative to the first board. Uh, everything should line up right up the wall. So we're getting ready to cut this piece, first taking a measurement. The nice thing about this material is that it will cut with common construction tools like skill saws. However, it will wear out the blade. This is a coil nail. It's like a roofing nail gun, except instead of roof nails, we're using these siding nails. So unlike a roof nail gun, which will only shoot up to inch and a half length, these can go up to two and a half inch length and it's a much smaller head. It's just an easier nail to finish and really convenient for siding. Let's get to work. Once you lay down that bottom piece all the way around the house where it needs to be, then you're just sort of stacking it. You're placing the next piece up right on top of the lower one and nailing it into place. Super simple. Later, it will require some filling, which we will get into. Super simple, but definitely takes some time. Finally, this is gonna get some paint. We have some time before we start painting, but yeah, that's it. We're starting the siding. One thing that I didn't mention yet is that there is a large amount of detailed work to be done. You can see us cutting out the shapes that we have traced out with our lines. And we found that when doing this on the house, there was quite a bit of back and forth where we would measure and we would draw to make some sort of template to get those detailed cuts around the window trim. But we would usually have to make some sort of adjustment to get it to fit really nicely. You can leave a bit of a gap for caulking, but it's nicer to have a better fit to begin with. And I can't hit them hard enough, so I'm doing this. It's a good idea. This was my grandfather's crafty way of not getting hit by a hammer. First by holding the punch with channel locks and then using the palm nailer. This hose bib here is another detail worth mentioning. Before you put the valve on, you gotta poke a hole in the siding and then slide the pipe through the siding, then put the valve on the end of it. And wow, look at that finished run of siding. This is what we like to call a diaper. What this is doing is protecting against water damage. So when you have siding with a seam between them, you could potentially get water into that seam. All this is doing is giving the water a path out so that it then gets outside of the siding and not inside of the house. And we do that on all the seams, as you can see here. There's a couple of remnants, but you get the idea. This video is coming to a close, but as you can tell, the siding is not yet complete. That's because this took months. 
It's not just hanging the siding, but pounding the nails in, filling back over the nails with filler, and then sanding that off. It's quite a bit to prepare the siding for paint, but as you can see, it is already dramatically changing the look of this house. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are getting very excited as this house is coming along. Please stay tuned for many more videos on this house series. See you guys.